Good morning, family. This is Ricky and welcome to Hope for Today. How y'all doing out there? I hope you are doing well. I was in the airport, uh, I guess it was a couple of weeks ago now. I had to fly up to Sacramento from Southern California and I'm just hanging out in the airport looking for some food. And I bumped into this, this, this sweet lady and we're just small talking about something. Um, we were both at the same restaurant. We're just small talking. And she says, wait a minute, Ricky? And I said, yeah, yeah. And then I'm assuming she was at the church where I was preaching the night before. I says, hey, you must have been at the Bible conference. And she says, oh, no, no. My friend sends me this Devo every morning. I'm from Texas. And we just got into the most amazing conversation. I'm not going to give her name here because I don't want to put her out like that. So I'm going to just call her. Um, I'm going to just call her Becky. And I just want to say not only hey to Becky, but hey to all of you around the country who support this Devo. And you've allowed us to be a part of your lives. It means the world to us. Let's go ahead and jump into what God has for us today. Uh, I'm in Matthew you. Chapter 6, verse 19. This is the Sermon on the Mount. And Jesus reminds us, do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. Verse 20 says, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. Verse 21, for your, where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. This is a passage we've heard over and over again, even if we're not used to the scriptures and used to church, we've heard this wisdom from Jesus on some level where wisdom has always taught us to make your investments count in eternal matters, not temporary ones. And don't get me wrong, we need to have jobs, we need to save money, we need to be productive, we need to contribute to society. I'm not negating that at all. But Jesus here says that too often, if you're not careful, your mind can be on earthly matters as opposed to heavenly ones. And a lot of times the Christian does well to kind of do a heart check to make sure that where we are expending our energies, investing our time, revolving in our relationships, it should, we should make sure that we are expending that energy in a way that's going to matter in eternity. Uh, the old folks used to say it this way, if all you ever do is run the rat race, all you will have beaten are a few rats. <laughs> If all your life is, is the rat race, the only thing you'll do is be ahead of a few rats. There's a culture that screams at us and says, make more money. There's a culture that says, be better than the next person. There's a culture that says, move up the ladder and don't hear me saying that those things are not a part of life nor even hear me saying that they're not important. But at the end of the day, scripture also says, what profits a person to gain the whole world and lose their soul? I want you to look at your life today and ask yourself, is the energy that I'm expending, the time that I'm investing, the relationships I'm cultivating, do they carry eternal weight or just my weight? And consider what it means to not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, but rather to focus your energy on treasures that will matter in heaven and in eternity. That's hope for today. I'll see you next time.